So now let's work around the polyline tool inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So to work with polyline, I'm going to go over here onto the shapes right over here and I'm going to click on polyline. So once you go to polyline, what we can do is we can start making shapes. So I can click over here and click over here and you can see that a straight line has been made. Once I click it, you can see that a straight line has been made just like this. But if I want to continue, I can click, click, click and click and you can see that the line continues just like this. So I click it, click the end line to actually close it up. If I want to make an enclosed shape, I can click, click, click and then on the last point, I'm just going to click and that creates an enclosed line. And if I have to click again, that closed, uh, that creates an enclosed shape just like this. So that's how you create a straight line. What you can do with polyline is also create curb lines. So to create curb lines, if I were to click over here and click and hold and drag my mouse, you can see that it actually creates a curb. So now as it creates a curve, you can see that there's a sort of handle, meaning the next click will actually bring a curb to follow that handle out. So if I were to click it, you can see that now it actually follows the curve. But now there is no handle. So if I were to draw anything from over here, you can see that it is pointy just like this. So if you do not want a pointy end, what you can do is you can click, click and drag, and you can see that there's a sort of a line going on. So before you let go, you can hold Alt on your keyboard and what that does is it allows you to control this handle right over here. So just leave it on the point. And now what happens is that you don't get the handle. So you can actually click and drag and you don't have the point anymore. But over here, you have the point. So just like this, you can see that now it actually like follows up along the path, just like that. So if you don't want a point, hold Alt and then just go around here. Go around here and then there you go. So you have this sort of a shape. So you can create any type of a shape just like this. But if you want more control over the type of the shape you actually create, you can actually modify the path after you create the polyline. So you can actually go over here onto the polyline. You can actually click here, click here and click here. And I'm going to click it to end it. So now let's say I want this part right over here to actually be curved. In that case, I can go on back to my contour editor over here and then I can actually go on to the tool right over here to actually select that out. So now I can actually go over here onto contour editor as you can see I can actually click in click and drag the space out according to what I like or else what, or I, what I can also do is I can hold alt and you can see that that actually brings up the shape right over here. If I were to hold alt and then click and drag any point, you can see that I can bring in the handles right here for the curves, just like this. So I can bring in the handle over here, just like this. So over here, I can work around with these handles to change the shapes over here. I can hold Alt and push one handle in if you want that pointy effect right over here. So you can see that this is very, very uh, helpful and you can control with a very high level of effect, just like this. So that is how you work around with the polyline tool inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.